Well, good evening to you wherever you are in the world. We are just about ready for the action here. Kickoff is imminent. The teams indeed with us very soon, having exchanged their various pleasantries. What I have to tell you is that the uh, weather may not be great for the duration of the evening. The clouds yet to open, but one suspects that they will pretty shortly. And when the rain comes, we are warned to expect plenty of it. These are truly impressive scenes from Glasgow. We are, of course, at the 60,000-seater Celtic Park, one of the most distinct special arenas on this part of the footballing landscape. And from the team sheet, we derive that they are going with a 3-4-3 formation, Jim. Well, I always feel, Peter, that central midfield is a big area of responsibility in this system. It's not as easy for the front three to get behind the ball quickly if one of the wing-backs is, is pushed on. Then the boys in the engine room have serious cover to provide. So a lot of hard work has to go into this, and at times you can get stretched. But, boy, it can work at one end. There's the whistle, and here we go. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, Peter. It's his pace that's his main attribute, especially over those first few yards where he just seems to glide away from defenders, gets himself into great positions and likes to hit it. He's had a goal! Big moment! Massive goal! It's hardly a surprise, is it? That's what we're here for, a player with this wonderful knack of being able to show up and deliver at important times. Yet, yet another example. Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keep... Had a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. He gets the ticking off and needs to be very careful now. Well, I think the referee would have told him to rein it in or, or suffer the consequences. Away from immediate danger, PK goes back to base. Hoists it forward. It's come loose. Well, I don't think it was the wisest option, Peter, once he got into that position. It's not as if he didn't have people nearby. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Out to the left it goes. Played into the middle. Tries to get it clear. Just brushed off the ball there. Hasabe. Brings it forward. Kostic. And it's got through. It is a corner. PK is there to heave it away. Lobs it in gently. Knocks one in. Tries to get it clear. Here comes another cross. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. There's been quite a few crosses coming in from that left-hand side. No doubt this is an area they've identified as a potential weakness in their opposition and they're willing to exploit it. Well, the defence have two choices, deal with the man or, or deal with the space. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass and its obviousness was, was appreciated. Forward it goes. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again.
plays it out to the flank. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. on a charge oh that's nice here it is now surely Ferran Torres has set up one goal so far Aubameyang good defending there they've slammed the door in the faces of the opposition Ruda Stitch. Reaching half time and still behind. Can they make something happen now? That's great strength on the ball. Oh, real chance! And the finish! Tries to get it forward quickly. Now it's Aubameyang. Battles to win it back. Barcelona are experts at this stylish position. And Aubameyang! He has done it! Two to the good! They have breathing space! And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. It was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Barcelona get themselves a two-goal cushion. We're looking at a very different game now. The command has been established. Ferran Torres. Quick glance at goal. He's good for it. Ooh, and with that, the half-time whistle goes. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? If you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Look, before they might get too carried away with thoughts of getting back into the game, they can't afford to slip up and concede another. The next goal becomes crucial. Oh, well played, he saw that coming. Ruda. Kostic. Sticks in a foot to win it back. Now it's Aubameyang. The referee's awarded a free kick. Aubameyang gets it. Aubameyang! I can't speak highly enough of the keeper after that save. Can't stop thinking about it. Rain starting to fall here. It has been looking that way for a little while. Cuts it out. Done very well to intervene. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Deftly done. Uh, the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. And it's Jordi Alba. Loose ball, who's going to get there? Well positioned to make that interception. Defending, albeit from an unexpected source. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team, really, your striker should be the first line of that defence, and, and he's delivering. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Ferran Torres, and here's Aubameyang, and he's searching through. Well, that's a foul, and the whistle's gone. I think the 
the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score. And obviously, he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? He's gone for goal. This could fall anywhere. Ball driven towards the far post. Decent progress down the left. He's made sure that that won't get through. Jordi Alba. Pique. Jordi Alba. Daniel Alves. Goes direct to the front line. Played out to the right. Chance to squeeze it through. No, not quite. Barcelona really are almost trying to pass the ball through a brick wall at the moment. You can see the sense of anxiety has, has now shifted to the stands. Defending was strong and firm. Oh, he's managed to get himself offside. Ruder. It's a loose ball. That's surely a foul free kick. Looking to change the direction of the game here. This certainly looks appetizing, well within shooting range. Going for goal! Oh, that is special! Oh, it really is a finish of the highest order. Right back in the game. And he's produced a beauty. This is threatening to become a really good game. Well, they've given themselves a chance here, but now it's a case of getting the balance right between attack and defence, and that's not easy. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. And that certainly wasn't one of his best. And it's Jordi Alba. Barcelona certainly don't need to overcommit now. Their priority lies further back. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. Good feet. Could be thinking about a real chance. Decent strike, kept it fizzing low. It's been taken short. Eintracht Frankfurt need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. They need to get it in quick. It's a brilliant interception. Obama Yang. Has he picked him out? Now it's Obama Yang. Obama Yang. Looks through on his own. And there goes the final whistle. Well, a full-blooded contest. Both teams had their moments, but they are beaten by the odd goal. 
Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Eintracht Frankfurt never really got into this game. I think conceding early as they did seemed to completely